Okay. <laughs> so that's the comparison you want to make is Cuba compared to the United States. Um, sure, one of the largest economies in the world, but not the largest. Yeah, but it also has one of the worst medical care systems in the world. So, I mean, you know, you could compare Cuba to, say, Singapore, another small island country that is an excellent. You could compare it to Thailand. Like, Cuba has yeah, but, an incredibly poor medical care system. <laughs> um, but, like, the, the point isn't that, like, I'm not a proponent of the view that Cuba is, like, a great, like, place or that it's, like, some sort of, like, utopia of some kind, right? The point is just to say that um, when you have a very small country, right, that's under an embargo from one of the largest nations in the world, um, then it's going gonna, it's gonna to say something when... Um, through having like socialized healthcare, they still have healthcare that works pretty decent. Yeah, but you know they don't have elections. They don't have the freedom to criticize the government. Those are really well, I mean that, that really matter. Matter. That's a that's a separate that's a separate deal. Oh no, it's not. It really matters that people in Cuba don't have elections. Don't have the right to criticize the government. Yeah, that's but, what you're talking we're, about. We're referring to healthcare. No, I'm not. I'm not interested in debating Cuban welfare. You have you told me that you're convinced by World Health Care. You're, you're, no, not at all. You're, you told me that you're convinced by World Health Organization statistics that Cuba has a great health care system. So I'm completely conceding the point. If you believe they have a better health care system in the United States, but not better than, say, Denmark, Japan, Singapore, Thailand, well, then okay, that's your opinion. Yeah, of course, countries um, so with more resources that aren't under the embargo from the fucking U.S. are going to, like, do better in terms of health care. Is the embargo making them deprive people of the ability to vote, to choose who's in power? Or to that seems like a red herring. Like, no, it's, it's a real question. So why would I support any government in 2019 that doesn't have elections? Wait, doesn't but, have but look, you could criticize Cuba for, like... No, but why not answer the question? The, why not answer the question? Wait, what's the why, question? Why support a government that's unelected? Just uh, why? I don't know what you mean, but, but, but why? Like, why? Okay, it. so it's but not. It's not about communism. Universally, if I if Wait, I said I to you, I if I said to you, they have great government. they have great health care in Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia is a very wealthy country with a lot of oil money. Okay, if I say, hey, you know what? They have better health care in Saudi Arabia than they do in Cuba. Would you support Saudi Arabia given that they don't elect their government? It's pretty fundamental, isn't yeah, but it? But like I. But I didn't ask you to support Cuba as an entire state, right? There are plenty of things you can criticize about Cuba. No, I'm, I'm but, asking you to not support uh, them because they don't like the look, government. That, yeah, look, that, that's fine. I'm, I made a like the government for all I know. Like, okay, I'm so just what's, really what's, saying your, that, what's your position on elections? Um, on, the, on, on elections, I guess I don't think they're very useful under the capitalist okay, government. So, but that's, so you, that's support, a separate, you support a Soviet or communist China-style government or no? Um, no, I, I don't support China. But um, I guess I just... Um, okay. Want to get so, clear on the healthcare point? Um, so, do elections before, matter or before, not? Well, before we move on, uh, I like to get clear on the healthcare point. I have absolutely no interest healthcare. in discussing healthcare in Cuba any further. I have no really? interest whatsoever in it. Really funny because like, you made a really strong claim at the outset. Said some like garbage. No, about no, no. Why don't you quote what I said? Why don't you, you know? quote what I said? What was the strong <laughs> I mean, claim I, can, I, made? I can I can I can paraphrase you, but you said that they didn't have a good healthcare system. Well, they don't. You, however, clarified your position that you felt the healthcare system was good considering that they're a poor country with an embargo. That's a reasonable statement. So I don't have any objection to that, if that's your claim. Okay. And when I asked you, do you actually think healthcare is better there than, say, Japan, then you said, no, you just think it's you know significant that they managed to have a system at all given. So that's a reasonable position. So I don't want to disagree with you on that. You know, if, if that's your point, is within that context that they're struggling to have a decent healthcare system, that's completely true. They're a poor country with a, you know, communist dictatorship government, and they do make a big effort to try to have a good healthcare system by those levels. However, it would be surreal to claim, as people do, that healthcare in Cuba is better than, say, Denmark or any successful in Japan or what have you, or here in Taiwan even. Here in Taiwan, we have single-payer healthcare. It's much better than Cuba. So, you know, there are yeah, countries that really I didn't have make the claim that their healthcare system. was the best. Right. I, I know, just I know. You clarified your position, so therefore yeah. I have no debate with you. That's fine. So that's, you know, you have a reasonable yeah. position on it, so that's fine. But so yeah, now you want to talk about voting? Well, to me, that's really the fundamental, simple question. Why make, why make excuses for dictatorship, whether it's Saudi Arabia or Cuba? I mean, I guess I don't, I don't have an issue with like, Cuba's dictatorship. There you go. So you support, you support communist dictatorship. It was already kind of established earlier. And that's I the mean, reason why you want to praise... Cuba's healthcare system. So it's not really about the wait, quality of healthcare they provide. I mean, I don't... Wait, what do you mean? It's, wait, wait, you think that I'm motivated by yes, like, some, de some desire I to... I think you're motivated. 
because you're you, pro-communist. Sure. Wait, no, wait. That would be that wouldn't be the same as me liking dictatorships, right? Or being motivated by them being a dictatorship. But I'm merely just pointing out that there's something to say, right, about the effectiveness of socialized healthcare, right? When a country that is really like bad condition is doing um, on par, if not better, than the U.S. in terms of healthcare. Right? Um, the United now, States has a remarkably okay. poor healthcare system. It's in the whole world is one of the worst healthcare systems for the poorest twenty percent of the of the population. So in the whole world, yeah. that's. But you you don't. But again, you, it's fine. You're being reasonable, but you're not making comparisons, say, to Taiwan or Scotland or many other places that have a much. Yeah, better but like all system. the countries with the best healthcare systems have socialized healthcare systems. Yeah, but that's not what I'm debating. I was talking about voting. I was talking about I mean, democracy I, and freedom of speech and being able to criticize the government. Yeah, if you want to. So you here, about here in like Taiwan, that. we have single payer healthcare. We have pure single payer healthcare. So you know that's what Bernie Sanders. Um. Yeah. Sure. Okay. So, what, what, do do you have like any like other like claim or objection or question or anything? No, you've already established that you support communist dictatorship. So you've yeah. conceded the point. So the debate's over. Capitalism? That's it. You 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 say that you support dictatorship, for example. Stalin and China and Cuba. I don't. I don't, don't see Stalin any value in China. elections or the wait, wait in the second. public having the freedom whoa, 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 to criticize whoa. government holding to account. Oh, so that second. that really yeah. identifies who you are, and that's it. I mean, yeah. Over. So I never said that I support Stalin and China. <laughs> right. Let's get that out of the way. That, I don't know where you got that garbage from. Um, now, in regards to like wanting people to have elections, I guess I want um, the working class able to like exercise like their democratic freedom. I don't think that people that undermine the interests of workers ought to have democratic freedom. Um, say if they're right-wingers or capitalists, whatever. Right, so you want to take away the right to vote from people who disagree with you, people who are not communists, um, for example. Well, so tell me, under, do you know what happened? Do you know what happened in the one and only election they had in, in Russia under under communism back in 97? Under communism? Um, yeah. So when was this election that you speak of? 1917, the only election they had in the Russian communism. Yeah, what happened during the Bolshevik Revolution, Tell me. The Bolsheviks didn't win. So do you know what they did? I don't, do you have a citation? They hunted down them? and killed. They hunted down yeah. and killed. The I, guess the I, want, I, guess, I guess I want a citation. For it. <laughs> so tell me, what history of the Soviet Union have you read? What book have you read that didn't include this? Well, look, you... But look, you, it seems you like a little bit. It seems like a bit, little bit of a dead giveaway that you don't know that much right. of what happened in 1917 if you don't know about this. That, I mean, I guess. Look, you just made the claim. I'd, I'd like a citation on it. Give me some. Sure. I'll, 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 I, how about how about you look up says, Wikipedia Russia no, 1917 election? That's not interesting. I, I, I guess I just want an actual citation. So do you have a peer-reviewed historian that? As, I mean, you yeah, know, the Bolsheviks do you, were called sorry, the do you have a, look, you know, by look, definition. Really briefly, what is your education in communism? At the university, what, what did you do? I guess I'm not interested in an at home. I just wanted the citation. No, it's, look, it's, look, for me, I'm not debating anything with you. The debate's you're over. Not, you're, but, so I'm just what? getting to know you as a person. How did you learn about communism? Did you study at the university? What did you um, yeah, I guess if you don't have a citation for me, I'm not, I'm not interested in. Being sure, interested. I just posted for you. There you go. Wikipedia, 1917 Russian Constituent Assembly election. All right, one second. Are, are you 19 years old, or is Manny just is? Ask yourself, just joking. Uh, I'm 19. Okay. Well, look, then I forgive you. I assume you were older, but you haven't had the benefit of university education. Well, if you actually study the history, you're going to learn a lot of things that are going to shake your current faith in communism. Now, see what bullshit. I don't, what I don't understand is what did it like? Even if granted, right, that let's say the Bolsheviks didn't get a majority vote, what what is it that you think like that like entails? No, uh, think uh, let me tell you that? something. When somebody wears a T-shirt with a Nazi swastika on it, it's not bad because it directly harms other people, okay? But it tells me something about who that person is. If I meet someone like you who makes excuses for and supports communist dictatorship, okay, it's not that you're doing any harm. It's not even that I think in future you're going to do any harm. Okay, that tells me something. It tells me something about you. It tells me something about your moral character and your intellectual character. So all you've done is convince me that you're Seems a scumbag. Like it's a weird at home. <laughs> yeah, it's no, but it's it's not. It's it is a pure judgment of who you are as a person. Um, That's all it is. Well, when I meet people yeah. who support Adolf Hitler. 
I make assignment. similar judgments about their character, and you do too. You judge people by their beliefs and by the regimes. They just by oh, I understand what the problem here is. Okay, well, I guess I guess I'd like to um, make you clear on one point because um, I think you you may have misunderstood what I said earlier. I said that I'm interested in um, there being political freedom. Uh, for the working class. Now, the reason that the SRs gained an overwhelming, well, I guess I wouldn't call it an overwhelming majority of the Bolsheviks, but the reason that the SRs gained like a large majority of the Bolsheviks is in virtue of votes from the peasantry, right? Now, what I didn't say was that I was interested in political freedom for the peasantry. I said I was interested in political freedom for the working class. So the election that you pointed to is just an election that was won by people who I don't think have legitimacy to like legitimacy political to like vote. freedom. So I guess right. I don't they, think they that you hunted down and killed the people Wait, who I disagreed with Bolsheviks. I don't, I don't, I don't see the relevance of that. You, you don't um, think you, there was look, massacres look, in the Russian Civil War? You don't think so? I, I never. Look, dude, I, I don't, you're 19 I don't years deny, old. I don't deny. Dude, you're yeah, 19 years deny, old. Uh -huh. You are making uh -huh. excuses for and supporting a regime that literally killed more people yeah. than Adolf Hitler, uh -huh. and specifically, they killed more communists than Adolf Hitler. Just okay. the number of no. genuine Communist Party no. members. Stalin literally yeah, killed more yeah. German communists than Adolf Hitler. Yeah, but the yeah, level but of I'm massacres not, and torture. I'm not a supporter of Stalin. What, what, why do you? Well, then, why do you then why are you doing this? Then why are you doing? Why would you support? Wait, how does it follow these that massacres? I support Cuba? I support Stalin. Or, Cuba, or that what, I support what you've Hitler. just said? What you've just said about the elections in 1917, which you mysteriously hadn't heard of at all a short time ago, but now you're justifying by saying the peasants deserve what they got. Under Lenin's Wait, regime. When did I say that? Sure. Like you just insane. said that you feel that you, you would take away the political rights of the peasants because they're your class enemies in class war. That's what you said. Um, well, not necessarily. You said the that you were fine the with point. them not having their. Yeah, so there you go. The point, the so point it tells is, me a lot about you. You do. I mean, you are on the same listen, level as someone. Listen. You are on the okay. exact same level yeah, as someone who supports and Adolf Hitler morally. Mm -hmm. or, or worse. Okay. So, so now, now I guess I want from you. Do you there's have? There's no debate. The, I mean, there's nothing. The, the debate okay, here. So stop, look, then, then stop talking. Right? Like the point is that either you have a criticism of my view, right, or you have some argument of your own, or you're just going to keep saying no, garbage, no, none, you know, none. Politics. So how do you, have you talked to Nazis yeah, before? Young, or being, I have well, absolutely well, no like interest in further. If someone look, actually if tells you, interest, you they support Adolf Hitler, look, if if you don't have an interest, then you need to just mute yourself now. You know, like you're saying you have no interest, yet you keep talking. It's like crazy. Right, the point is that if you don't have an argument or criticism of the view, I don't, I don't understand. If I, if I don't have an argument on, on what topic, I mean, we talked uh, about Cuban healthcare. It's over, and I said, you know, I said, okay, well, I see what your view is, and it's reasonable. After you'd clarified some things, um, you, you, you made it clear you what your position is on democracy and elected government and dictatorship of the proletariat, and so on. So mm -hmm. it's fine. So I understand your political position because I have a really robust background in communism. So it's okay. So okay. I, I know your position. So uh, right. Um, so I just want to ask you: uh, Do you support capitalism? I I describe myself as a nihilist because I don't. Okay. I mean, I don't I'm believe not touching that. Right. I can see that. Morally really positive. Oh, well, I just asked okay, sorry. You, you asked me if I support analysis. capitalism. No, I don't describe myself as a pro-capitalist. So you're agnostic? No. Um, so look, you're only 19, so I don't really know <laughs> did Isaac how much you want like to this? talk with us. Why did Isaac like reveal my age in chat? There was no need well, for that. Look, I, you know what I mean? but I mean, w w capitalism is a very broad category that includes places like Japan, and also includes places, I guess today, I don't know, would we include Saudi Arabia as capitalist or would we actually say it's feudalist? I mean, there's, it includes Indonesia, at least, let's say. Well, life in Indonesia is, is really awful and life in Japan is pretty good. You can look at a huge variety of, of different countries that are grouped as capitalist. But today, capitalism is a really, really broad category. And I think, you know, I think anyone can learn from what's wrong with disasters of capitalism and terrible countries that are capitalist. And uh, you can learn from capitalist countries that are doing something right. But capitalism is a very, very broad and diverse category that's almost only defined negatively in terms of what it's not. Whereas, you know, communism is a specific social and political and economic system. Um, nice. 
So that's the reality. But if you ask me specifically, do I support Japanese capitalism? You can have a, an answer. Do I support Canadian capitalism? That's much more specific. I guess but, the question you know, I'm there's having tremendous now, diversity in capitalist countries. I guess, I guess just as with healthcare systems. Yeah. Well, you were aware of that with healthcare systems. Yeah. I guess what I want to know now is why it is that you're like willing to be so charitable to yourself and distinguish like all these different like ways that capitalism is done by region. But like the second I say that I support Cuba, there's somehow like one giant thing that's communism and that if you support Cuba in your mind like Mao's China and Stalinist USSR etc etc right like so well, have, why, have you ever lived, like you ever lived in a communist country I don't <laughs> wait what, have what's you lived wrong in a communist with that? I have I have lived in a communist country so I I know and I've you know I know just how profoundly different Laos was from from Cambodia those are two communist countries that are right next to each other. I know how different Laos, Cambodia, China, and North Korea, I, I really do. So what you're saying about me is not true. I really do profoundly appreciate it. Mongolia is another contrast. Wait, right? so I've, I've really studied the history of communism and have also met and talked to people who lived through that history in, the, in terms of the human face. And again, I've, I've met people who've lived in Cuba too. And I've talked to Cuban but, doctors. And but then it just seems like the question that is... That enriches like your, your engagement with it. So yeah. uh, I'm just answering your question. You asked, you, your question was, why do I acknowledge a lot of diversity in capitalism and not in communism? No, I, I really do. I really do recognize diversity. Well, I guess now there's a further question is that if you recognize the diversity, why did you do like a weird straw man assumption that if I support Cuba, I support Stalin? Or no, I, I established that you, you don't you don't support elections, that you don't support democracy. That was what we Wait, how does it, that. but how does that, but look, how, we how, talked how, about how it. would it follow, how would it follow from that, that I support Stalin? No, you're, you're correct. It doesn't follow that you support Stalin. I mean, that's you what supported you said, Lenin though. earlier, but not Stalin. Well, uh, I think your position is morally tantamount to being a Stalinist. Uh, but, uh, is, is your position, as you define it, do you support Lenin, but not Stalin? Is that your position? Yeah, probably. Okay, so so you're a you're a Leninist then, but not a Stalinist. Okay, I'm sorry. I mean, I've met and known many communists face to face. You know, I know I know all the flavors. Um, but you know, Lenin carried out unbelievably brutal massacres in 1917. I can send well, sorry, period, not during the year 1917, 1917 through say 1923. I can send you an article I wrote myself that describes really tear jerking, unbelievably brutal massacres, including anti Semitic massacres uh, during the Russian Civil War. It was. In, the massacres, the genocide against the Cossacks and hunting down and killing the members of the of parliament. And it all has citations. It's all based on factual proven sources. Lenin was a mass murderer. And Lenin, like yourself, did not believe in elections. He didn't believe that anyone should have political rights who didn't agree with him. And it resulted I mean, I, I don't in know one of the worst that. societies in, in the history of Lenin. Lenin's view. Yeah, but dude... Because I read books, like what do you want me to tell you? I mean, have you? Because I know have facts you, have about you, history. Have you read? Like, have you read Lenin? I mean, he advocates for yes, workers. Yes, I have. Dude, yeah. both he, of my parents. For both of my parents were were doctrinaire communists. I grew up with I mean, the complete works of Lenin doesn't seem in my like home. You know what Lenin's views are. Or uh, dude, are. what I know is the reality in contrast to the propaganda. Dude, I pity you. If at 19 you're this deep into communist propaganda, I hope you get out of it by 29. It, dude, think about how you would feel if you were talking to a 19-year-old who was supporting Adolf Hitler. That's how I feel looking at you. But I, I guess I, I don't really see them as being analogous. Things. But I guess one, one thing I will say is um, granted, um, granted all the historical facts because um, I will grant you that I guess I don't think I'm older enough to like engage in like some rigorous like debate about it. Um, the historical facts. It seems like even granted all the historical facts about Lenin, I don't think that would change the validity of his prescriptions going forward, which I think you might be inclined, unless you're some his, like historical fanatic, you might be inclined to agree that prescriptions going forward are always going to be, like, I guess, more important. Um, no, I, I completely reject that view. I completely reject that view. I, I give you a, a, an example you might sympathize with, but you, you might not. Uh, most people on the left, when they talk about gun control, they talk about real world empirical experience. They say, well, look at the crime rate in various countries historically that have had gun control and how well that works. And then look at the United States, by contrast, how high the rate of violence and murder and even suicide is because they don't have this gun control. So that's that's working from empirical experience. In fact, you can make an excellent logical argument 
for why everyone ought to be able to own guns freely, which is uh, a priori, you know, kind of purely chalkboard theoretical. It sounds great. Or you can learn from from real world experience. So I, I describe myself. You asked before, what am I, you know, uh, politically? And I said, oh, well, I identify as, as an historical nihilist. I identify with nihilism. So that's that is what my school of thought is, is is learning from historical experience, from real world empirical examples only. And you can learn about pragmatic things like what works in uh, gun control or drug policy or, or anything or healthcare. You know, you can look at what's worked in the real world. And no, I, I think that the, the lessons that have to be learned from what really happened with Lenin when he put those principles into practice are much more valuable and much more important than the abstract principles as you may write them on a chalkboard. So, dude, I, I just no, want to thank you. You I did have the honesty to admit earlier on when I mentioned the elections in 1917 that you'd never heard of them before. You demanded a source. I gave you one. It's a good Wikipedia article. I mean, I, I appreciate say that. <laughs> but, dude, you should stop and recognize that there's a lot about this history you don't know or that you've only been learning from really biased propaganda sources. I, talk to, people, I talk to people who really believe positive things about Adolf Hitler because they've only read – they've been reading right-wing – you know, reinterpretations of history that support Adolf Hitler. You must realize that the left wing produces pro-Lenin and pro-Stalin and pro Mao Zedong. They produce really charitable rewritings of this history the same way the fascists do. Yeah, but I guess I, I mean, I said a little bit ago that I don't think I'm like well-read in history enough to have a rigorous conversation. I guess maybe you're not either, but the point is just to say I don't think it changes. Yeah, maybe I'm not either. Good one. Good one. I'm going to send you, so I'll send you the link to my, my article about what happened in the Russian Civil War. It's just one part of it. It's on the far east end of Siberia. It's a really interesting example from the history, but you, even from that one case study, you'd probably. Um, but I don't understand. Do you think that it makes London's prescriptions any less valid if, let's just say, he himself were like some sort of maniac? Sorry, so I, I do think I already answered that question. I guess not. You just sort of said you're a historical nihilist. Dude, I hope I never speak to you again, but I hope you that's, I hope you really escape from this comes. ideology by the age of twenty nine. I hope I hope you grow out of it. Because dude, my parents raised me communist. I was raised by communist extremists, communist fundament. They were not moderate communists. I was raised with all this stuff from childhood and I grew out of it. I hope you don't. Wait, what did you, wait, he, I actually, said, he actually just ran. Wait, he said he was sending me an article of his own. He just sent me a Wikipedia page to the Russo-Japanese war. He wrote the Wikipedia page. But this was even done by the Russian empire. This wasn't even the Soviet Union.